Hi, just a, a very quick unboxing today and a little bit of a, a play around with this. Um, this is a Hario ceramic coffee mill and it's the uh, Skirton um, model. Um, within sort of the coffee world it seems like if you're going to go with a hand grind um, mill, Hario or however you pronounce it is uh, one of the brands to go for. Um, this being the larger of two models that they do um, and it seems much nicer to me because it's got the uh, the larger capacity at the bottom and the non-slip base. Now, um, myself and my wife have sort of got into coffee um, and I thought, well, let's try some sort of um, bean to pot sort of approach and see if it's any better. Um, obviously, you can get the electronic burr um, grinders, but um, for our purposes, you know, a cup or two a day, this will be absolutely fine and obviously much, much cheaper. So if we look around the box here, um, you can see that, first of all, that there is English translations on this. Um, and I'm hopeful that there's English instructions inside, because other YouTube videos suggest that there aren't. Um, but this, this gives me some hope. So on this model, um, there's a lid which goes over the top there, uh, which obviously keeps your beans self-contained, which is helpful. Um, 100 grams capacity. On the side there, it says uh, you know, you've got your ceramic burr, which is vital if I, if I understand correctly um, because it, it doesn't taint the flavour and it doesn't uh, apply any heat to the beans um, also you've got a, a lid for the bottom container so that once you've ground your coffee into there you can pack it away um, and keep that as a storage solution um, I think that's probably about it for the box um, so let's open it up So in the box we've got the, the silicon lid, we've got a plastic lid for the, the lower storage area, we've got the main unit itself, there you go, and you've got the, the winding arm for the top. Let's have a little look through and see what we've got here. Oh, and there you've got the rubber base as well. I'd have thought that had been properly attached, but there you go. A little label there, just with model number and the fact that it's a, a ceramic burr, so let's take that off. That's not required. Packaging out. Here you've got the instructions. So you've got the English translation um, throughout, which is great. So that's all good. Okay, let's have a quick look around the unit itself, and then we'll give it a grind. So if we unscrew the bottom here, a little bit of paper in there. What's this? Probably just a quality control bit of information. Nothing important for our purposes. And as I say. Once you've ground your coffee, pop the lid on like that, and you can store that in your uh, cool, dark place. Um, not your fridge, if I understand correctly, which is uh, something for the coffee buffs. Um, fridges are not the place for your coffee, I understand. Here you've got your, your grinding bit, and I think, if I understand correctly, that bit comes off, ready for the arm. And this bit um, goes up and down to set the the grind depth, if you will. So that's obviously going to be so coarse that it's not going to work at all. And that's as fine as you get. So what you do is basically screw that down, if I understand correctly. You pop this lock locking bit on. So that locks it in place. So that's not going to turn anymore because that's notched so that's quite a clever little design you pop on your your arm and then you tighten it up so as you can see I, I pretty much tightened it as far as I could um, I do think we probably need the finest grind for for the way we like our coffee 
Um, we don't use an espresso machine. We instead use um, either the Chemex. And I've got a, a little review of that. Um, so that's a sort of a, a one to three cup pot, although uh, you know it's two mugs at a push, which is what we need, and just a regular French press, nothing special. So for those two, I think you know a fairly fine grind is needed, um, but not quite espresso fine, which I think this unit struggles on. So let's give it a go with a grind. Um, what I've done is to sort of taste test the, uh, the, the straight from bean um, approach. I've actually got two bags of coffee, both the same beans, both from Waitrose, nothing too special but should be nice coffee. Um, and then we can compare, I can compare off camera the flavour, but what we can compare on camera is the, uh, the grind quality. So what I'll do, I'll open up these two bags, um, have a look at the, the finest, finest fineness of the, uh, the pre-ground coffee and then I'll um, compare it to this one. So first of all let, let's get some of our bean ground. Open this up quickly. And what I'll do, I normally try and do sort of three heat teaspoons or tablespoons rather of uh, coffee so I think that the bean to the ground, ground is about the same um, mix. So I'll do three big scoops and see what comes out at the end. Um, I will time this, um, but I won't put you to the, uh, the excitement of actually what, enduring the full grind yourself. So we just start it off. There we go. So um, that took around about three or four minutes um, to get what hopefully is uh, sort of two mugs worth of uh, coffee out for the uh, either the Chemex or the uh, French press. Um, one thing that I did miss a trick on is I didn't put on the um, silicon top. Obviously, you've got to put that on before you screw down um, the top there. So you just, I guess, you just lift it up and put your beans in around it. Having said that, no beans escaped. It was all fine. Um, this is some of the the pre-grown coffee to compare with. So if you uh, Look at that, it's quite a fine um, and consistent particle size. Let's see what we got out of here. I mean, it wasn't uh, too tiresome, it was uh, fairly pain free. Let's see what we've got. It's actually looking finer, it's looking very powdery indeed. So that's your freshly ground coffee. It's actually a little bit clumpy because um, I guess it's still got the sort of moisture trapped in the in there. So if we just sort of spread it out a bit, that's very fine. And this is a little bit more coarse, very fine sand, and this is almost just powdery smooth. So I think probably what I'll do is next time round I'll back off the. Uh, the burr a couple of rotations, um, but in terms of sort of the ability for it to hit the different sort of requirements for different sort of makers, um, this I think might be problematic for a, a French press as I think it will go through the filter a little bit. Um, likewise for the Chemex it might, might sort of hinder the, the passage of water through it. Um, so, you know, it seems capable and it was pretty pain free. So I guess the uh, the proof now is in the drinking. Um, but first impressions, obviously, yeah, I knew this was a be a good unit. Um, it's very well thought of on the uh, sort of the online coffee community. Um, yeah, it looks great. Okay, well I might do a follow up review and talk about the uh, comparative taste between a freshly ground coffee with its sort of pre ground counterpart. Um, if if there's anything meaningful to say. Okay, thank you very much.